Hi, welcome to Ramblin' Research. I'm your host, Michael Shin. Today's episode revolves around the use of caffeine on our campus, widely thought to be helpful in keeping you awake for that late night cramming or the procrastinated homework. Caffeine can actually have some detrimental effects on your health and overall well-being. I had the chance to speak with my health class professor, Dr. Teresa Snow. In her class, we did a project to show you some of these effects. Enjoy. The average college student consumes more than the recommended daily allowance of caffeine. Studies have shown that consuming over 300 milligrams daily, which is equivalent to three cups of coffee, has detrimental effects on how the body functions. Jess, who consumes caffeine regularly just to stay awake and get through her daily schedule. She usually substitutes sleep with caffeine in order to function during her full day of classes and studying. In order to do well in school, REM sleep is imperative since it is needed for memory consolidation and learning. According to NPR, studies have linked high caffeine use to decreased REM sleep. How much sleep do you get each night? Uh, I'd say maybe like four to five hours each night, uh, maybe less if I have a lot of exams. Typically I consume like four cups a day. Maybe five, it's like a really tough week. In order to prevent what happened to Jess, students should only consume a moderate amount of caffeine daily, which is no more than 300 milligrams. And overconsumption just leads to fatigue and a decrease in energy in the long run. Since our bodies are made up of 60% water, drinking water is the best to consume while studying and gives your body the most energy. You look at your schedule from the beginning. Look at all of your major assignments, your, your major exams, and put, put them on the schedule. And within that schedule, allow time each week to spend some time studying. And certainly also, if you don't understand something, if you're really struggling, see your TA, see your instructor. We're more than willing to sit down and, and help you. As you can see, caffeine may not be your best friend after all. Although exaggerated in the video, if you're an avid caffeine user, you may see some of these negative effects come to life. Whether you choose to reconsider or not, study hard, Jackets. I'm your host, Michael Shin. Thank you for watching Ramblin' Research, and I'll see you next time.